<laughs> having a dance party. You missed it. Missed it by about two seconds. Um, if you've been to the Greensboro Science Center lately, you know just how many animals there are. I mean, it's a huge number there. Now imagine, what does it take to prepare all that food and so many varieties and thousands of pounds of it? I visited the food prep facility to see how it all works. It's what to see at the GSC. Hey, that's not bad. It's not bad? That's it's like a giant a Cheerio. I feel sorry for Dakota because the only thing I know to call her is the lunchroom lady, but that's, that's, that's okay. kind of what you are. That's what I am. Without the hair net. All right, so tell us what, what we're doing today. So we're going to be making a diet for one of the animals that we have here, okay. two of the animals that we have here, and I'm going to have you do that. Okay. So. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Am I feeding them or just mixing it? Well, we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to take I'm this scared. bowl. I'm so scared. Yes. And we're going to put 40 grams of this in there. Okay, so I look at the little meter and... Yes, right. so we've got some squash and corn and peas in be. here. Okay. I mean, whoops, there this, you is, go. this is something that I would eat. Now we're going to get berries. 80 grams of this. 80? Looks like blackberries, grapes, blueberries. Wait, do I have to do the math now? You're asking no, me to do math? No, I just teared it, oh, so you it's back to zero. Again. Okay, thank you. <laughs> And we're going to do 80 grams of this extra fruit. Kiwi, this animal really mango, likes fruit. something or another. 80, you said? Yes. Okay. There we go. Perfect. Ooh, right on the money. And that's it right there. And then they're also going to get some training treats of blueberries and grapes. Okay, so you keep that to the side, right? Yes. You use that to teach them things. That's right. What's the little crunchy stuff? Do we need so that? So this little crunchy stuff, they're going to get all in the morning, and then we're going to combine their different meals. So this crunchy stuff is loaded with fruits, vitamins, and minerals. So Just it's jam-packed with nutrients. I mean, you're producing a lot of food. Yeah, it is a lot of food. They're fruit. <laughs> There's <laughs> fridges over here that'll all show you just how much. And then that doesn't include the aquarium. And then all Gosh. of the cats have their own separate food prep area. I mean, this is a non-stop thing. It's non-stop. Pretty much. Yeah. All right, so now are you going to tell me what I'm doing here? Because I'm a little nervous. We're actually going to air. toss these at what? this animal and they're going to catch it for us. I think it's going to ring a bell. The trumpeter hornbills. Call my boss and teach so that they can just feed us in the newsroom like that. Just yeah, talk. Of Would course. you do that? It's a great reinforcer. <laughs> <laughs>So don't be wow. surprised if our news director just walks around the room. Just throwing, <laughs> like, what is going on? <laughs> Tell um, them what was, was in that fun. fridge, she said, too. So, yes, yeah, so <laughs> some of it that we didn't show you was that because they do have to feed, like, crocodiles and alligators, so mm -hmm. there are some rats and small animals mm. that have, you know, been prepared for this. Mm -hmm. um, so they, and the meat for tigers, I mean, they feed... They've got all kinds of stuff, but mostly what she showed us was just uh, birds and the grains and that type of thing. But we did at the beginning of the segment, in case you didn't understand, we tasted one. She goes, taste one. I was like, I'm not eating animal food. She goes, no, this is all natural, pure, it's just grains. And it tasted like Cheerios. It was good. I mean, now we Whoa. know Eric will eat anything. I will, I'll try anything once. <laughs> <laughs> yep. No, that's really cool. I like how they have all of these experiences because you've done several stories where you're able to be so hands-on with the animals. And what fun way is it, you know, to be able to be out that's there with the birds? Great. and feeding them. Are they good catchers when you um, toss it? So they caught it. I wasn't the best thrower. That was the problem. I guess that but <laughs> they, they, <laughs> they probably caught yeah. about 30% of what we threw, but they'll fly down and get what you, once they drop. Gotcha. So That's fine. cool. Really cool. <laughs> I do Go that. check it out. All right, we're coming right back.